or go to sonobello.com. Financing available with most credit types. Watch Meat Sauce and Monty tonight on the CW23. We'll talk about everything sports and entertainment. What time will that be? 10 o'clock, right here on the CW23. Welcome to the Sports Show, Mike Max, Pat Grossi, Lavelle Neal, and Sid Hartman. A lot to talk about. It's a fun time of the year. Sidney, we'll start with the Vikings because that's what you like to start with. Were you satisfied with the one-point win? I was satisfied, but Zimmer wasn't. He wasn't very satisfied with the defense. He's never going to be happy. And uh, Cincinnati is a pretty good football team. But actually, they had seven guys who play didn't make the trip to Cincinnati, right. including some of the best players they got on defense. But uh, apparently he raised heck with them after the game about the defense being lousy. Attention to detail, Patrick. I think that's what he gets after him on all the time. I think the uh, idea that the offensive line is going to be improved is still up for debate here. I think they so, got too. a little more depth, and Fusco didn't play, but... Uh, you know, the people who do the analysis uh, say that uh, Boone isn't the player he was a couple of years ago, and uh, Andre Smith has got a reputation as not being a really hard worker. Came to Cincinnati, let him go, and, uh, you know, maybe Sullivan will be better than Berger, although the, the independent, the objective people all thought Berger had a hell of a year. So I think they... Uh, you know, the offensive line will probably be a tick better, but the idea that it's suddenly going to be this uh, awesome uh, force, I'm, I don't buy it. That's the thing. I think everybody's jumping on Teddy Bridgewater going from here to here, and I just don't think it could happen in one season. And you're right, because when I was reading the stories about the game, I read about Teddy's long touchdown pass. also read about him having to evade tacklers and stiff arm Geno Atkins to avoid getting killed. So the offensive line definitely looks like it's a problem. Tommy Kramer told me two weeks ago, without question, Bridgewater is all about his motion being here. And until he can throw a ball that comes down like this, he'll never be able to throw the ball downfield. It That's was an interesting thing. mechanic. I mean, Tommy was 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 passionate about this. Touched on Tommy still in town? No, he came back for a he and Ahmad Rashad well, went back for a second. You know, he's got to make the same change Aaron Rodgers did. Aaron Rodgers was throwing it off here, and then he ended up ended up change. He's he had three years to change his motion, and so the question. First, uh, I'm, I'm sure that Bridgewater's worked hard to change that motion it's the heat of the ball game whether that Could old be. habit comes back or something like different the matters box okay. that's right yeah. you can dig bp all you want right sid the first i've heard of harris smith who i'm very close to is not a hard worker he says he's out there who said that Ron oh, Smith. He didn't, say, he, say that? he didn't say Harrison Smith. No, he no, said, no. He's talking about the big Andre line. Smith. Andre Smith. Andre Smith, the right tackle. Oh, Andre yeah. Smith. Harrison Smith. Andre I've Smith. never <laughs> said anything bad about him. I think he's their best player. I got okay. He's their Smith MVP in my opinion. Up. Don't write that in your column tomorrow. Okay? No. okay, but anyway, go ahead. Andre Smith. I don't know nothing about him. But uh, the big thing is the offensive line has got to be better. But I keep on hearing that uh, Sullivan is not looking as good as he did in the past, and huh. that Berger might beat him out at center. Or they could both be on the same line. Or a week ago, you told us Sullivan looked great. What happened? Yeah. A week ago, yeah. Sullivan was fine. Huh? You, you considered um, him to be the big difference coming <laughs> back a week ago. That's what I hear. I mean, you hear different things every week yeah. and when you go out there like I go out there quite often well, you, been you to this find year. out things that uh, one player told me that so he said uh, uh, John don't look himself the coaches told me he does but this one guy who uh, pretty good uh, Sullivan observer and have a very interesting relationship I think Zimmer likes poking him and trying to needle him because because uh, Sullivan will go right back at him. They they have this interesting give and take. You know what makes sports great though? We don't know. It changes. Yep, that's <laughs> right. Week to week, day to day, and one preseason game. The fighting game. twins. They get 
50 hits and uh, 35 runs in two games, and then they give up 50 then they, hits. Then they <laughs> <lose> four <laughs> four right. That's what makes the you know, parts great. Yeah, it is. You know, you talk about those exhibition games being a joke. Kansas City last night completely outplayed Seattle the whole game until the last five minutes and they go for two points, score a touchdown, march 90 some yards and beat him 17 and 16. Seattle flop of the year. They're going to be on it. They're going to be a 500 team. Their offensive line is a disaster. You thought the Vikings offensive line was a disaster last year. They got nobody on their offensive line. They've spent no resources Seattle. on their offensive line. It's terrible. And in L.A., they played a game last night, 90,000 people. Lavelle? I was going to say, you know, the NFL's got the greatest gig going right now. They can get these stadiums full of people to watch the, the first string play one series. <laughs> it's unbelievable. What? Uh, okay, first game in L.A. since 20, in 25 years, something like that. So I, I can get that. But some of these other games with these crowds, it's remarkable. What do you do, Patrick? What do you think happens in L.A. this year? Or, or long term, do you think people have oh. missed it enough that and there's a big enough population base that they'll just? He gets that palace built out in Inglewood. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be yeah. I mean, there's Max. You don't have to take over the whole town. No, no. You got 12 million people. That's why it's <laughs> if a million of them care, you're in good shape, yeah. right? The only team that's upset is USC football because they were treated like a pro team. Oh, oh, yeah. What happened when the Rams are gone? It's because yeah. they were a pro team. That's for right. Part of it. Yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say, Sid? Well, we'll find out about the Vikings. I still think the quarterback's a big question mark, except he threw probably the best pass he's thrown since he joined the team when that Johnson made a great catch in the end zone pretty open. for a touchdown. In a preseason game, I have to continue to say. Yeah. Uh, like Lavelle said, that was only the preseason. Kid from Chanhassen could have caught that ball. Uh, that's, that's what I'm saying. He was pretty open. He was pretty open. Now, the Bridgewater thing, though, you are the one that told us that Christian Ponder was the future for three years. <laughs> you told us that. My information, I don't profess to be a football expert. Right? Really? <laughs> I don't profess to be a baseball expert. I stake my reputation on going to these places okay. almost every day where you see me I see when you. I'm healthy. But I, I never had that same vibe about Ponder. And I go by what they tell me. Okay. Maybe they're lying. Maybe they're telling the truth. Well, one thing I know I is just these people never lie to us. Never. <laughs> no. so now we know it's not Sid's fault that Ponder's not in the NFL, that Sam Mitchell's still not the Wolves coach, <laughs> that Beth Guess is not the or in, the, or in the words of Sam, <laughs> oh, oh, Sam who? Yeah, that's right. Who is he? Before the soccer team is We're on the the Wolves. Wolves. Now we know it's not Sid's fault. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Cambria, makers of quality quartz surfaces. Ticket King, for the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. RSM, this is the power of being understood. This is RSM. BMW of Minnetonka, choose from 60 certified pre-owned BMWs at BMW of Minnetonka. And Bobby and Steve's Auto World. Go to bobbyandstevesautoworld.com for huge savings on everything from convenience store items to everything under the hood of your car. Save up to 80%. The Jewelry Exchange has one carat true love and best friend rings for $9.90. One and a half carat three stone rings, just $19.90. One carat studs, $5.99. Buy factory direct. The Jewelry Exchange, Egan. Need your GED to get a better job and start a new career? Summit Academy's one-of-a-kind program combines GED with your choice of healthcare or construction training. Summit Academy. There are no loans and absolutely no cost to you. Get your GED now and start a healthcare or construction career, too. Stand back. How did 
did you do that? I'm Supergirl. You who now? We are It's all super, all week, on The CW. An odometer under 15,000 miles and an up to five-year, 75,000-mile warranty makes it elite. The way it does this makes it a BMW. Introducing BMW Certified Pre-Owned Elite. Choose from 60 certified pre-owned BMWs at BMW of Minnetonka. Looking for a nice, big, juicy rack of ribs, fabulous chops, huge steaks, and the buddy bowl? Then J.D. Hoyt's is the place for you. Hoyt's opened in 1983, and Mike Andrews and his partner John White have kept this Minnesota tradition at the top of the food chain. Managing owner Pat Montague gives us a tour. At J.D. Hoyt's, enjoy a relaxed atmosphere, great food, friendly service, private dining room, second to none happy hour, just blocks from the new ballpark. Located at 394 in North Washington, locally owned, nationally known, Hoyt's. J.D. Hoyt's Supper Club, downtown Minneapolis, chop steak, seafood, and a whole lot more. Stop on by Pat, sees Pat sometimes down there, and... Uh, yeah, you can swap some sports stories and much more. J.D. Hoyts, any time of year, any time. Welcome back to the sports show. The Minnesota Twins alluded to it. Uh, obviously, you know, they, they get hot, then they lose four in a row. Uh, they make some trades. The roster looks different. I don't know. Rosario strikes story, out eight times, then he's a home story run. with the Twins is a second baseman. He's got 19 he's home runs and how many... Since Since June 11 to something like that? Yeah, yeah it's more, more than anybody in the league. Like 56, 57 games. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I wonder if they'll trade him. No. Uh, I, I love Paul Molitor, but I can't Paul, understand yourself. why he keeps on when a guy spits seven strong innings, why he takes. The guy out it's called pitch count, Sid. and brings in some clown <laughs> like who, who can't get anybody out. Okay, Patrick. Uh, they uh, they're going to go into next year with a pretty good lineup and the same major issue starting pitching. Yeah. And that's why you can't trade Herb Santana because he's yep. the only guy you got that's a competent major league starting pitching. Kyle Gibson has been the flop of the year on this team, I in agree. my opinion. I agree. The rotation is supposed to turn It's funny because, because when he looks good, he, you go, whoa, right. this is a guy. He's got the look, the demeanor, the size. My uh, son, Mr. Baseball, Christopher, three years ago said he's Nick Blackburn. Ugh. And he's right. Well, there's a name he's, Nick Blackburn. he's Nick Blackburn. He's Nick Blackburn. Joe Mays. All he's those guys got rich. And, you know. Hey, are they going to make any more trades? Maybe before the August 31st deadline. But the, player, they the player has to clear waivers. Um, uh, Trevor Plouffe could be traded. Ooh. Maybe, maybe Plouffe, your third baseman. He'd clear one day. Yeah, he would clear. Maybe Kurt Suzuki, but I think Suzuki's going to be the the uh, starting catcher on opening day because it's not a good uh, catching market. But they got to sign him. Right. Couldn't they get sign him. anything for And Plouffe. the starting pitching market's not going to be good this offseason. So it, that's probably one reason why they're going to hold on to Irvin. Because if you remember three years ago when he signed in Alaska, Ricky Nolasco was ranked as the third best starting pitching prospect on the free agent market that year. Third. How about we're, we're headed to a similar market this year. How about the Yankees? They bring they bring those two rookies up, and they hit back home to back runs, home runs, home run after home run. I got to tell you, it is amazing. It was it was uh, Cano, Teixeira, Rodriguez, Jeter just a minute ago, and now it's, know. You know, it's all blown up. Yeah, four yeah. A rod though. Basically, <laughs> they kicked his rear end out of New York, and he tried to go out and with some glory and Joe Girardi wouldn't play him and finally let him play one inning at third base. One batter, right? So, yeah. so there are people saying he might not be done. Who would want Alex Rodriguez? Miami. It would be a side well, Would they want him? Well, he they lives 20,000 people last night. Miami. They're in the yeah. middle of the race. They drew 20,000 people. He's they might my, think. He went to high school there. And yeah. now, he lives here, yeah. now Gian no, Carlo man. went no, on the DL. That's right. He was grown. Didn't 209. 
But you know, this is what's scary when you talk about the offseason, right. that, that the Yankees need to reload. I mean, that takes, you know, that, that's going to take a lot of guys. You've got no chance to sign up the Yankees. Actually, they're right. three and a half out of the wild card. I know. Uh, they're in the wild card. Well. But yeah. by their standards, they're looking to make deals. I don't Nobody's feel... going to take them. they got to pick up $27 No, million no, next no, year. no. The Yankees have released them. You don't have to. Right. He's you don't have The Yankees are on the hook. The Yankees are on the hook. If someone oh, yeah. picks up A-Rod now, they have to pay him the minimum. Yeah. That's it. Hey, I don't feel bad for A-Rod. The, the guy lied twice about using drugs. He tried to swear about it. And he's still getting $27 million next year. Poo hoo hoo. <laughs> what a sad finish for A-Rod. He's whining all the way to his beach. You know what? <laughs> I wouldn't want to be him because I don't think his identity can handle not being a baseball player, and I don't know what he does. Yeah, he may be he may be nuts trying to figure out what to do with his life now. I'm just talking about sense of purpose. Hey, he's going to be a consultant to the Yankees. The last time a consultant got as much influence was when Carl Polad said Calvin was going to be an in, uh, uh, consultant, consultant to the Twins. <laughs> <laughs> and he the team. That was the last we heard of Calvin. <laughs> yes. Who the hell was one of the mentor of their players? I got pretty close to him. Uh, and I had a deal with him where he gave me an address in Dallas if I wanted some poor kid, uh, some desperate person to get some gift, I send it. And I bet he sent 10 things to you during the... Well, we were just talking, you weren't here a couple weeks ago, but you, Denny Green, remember... You got bikes for his kids, too. <laughs> Remember? Huh? Remember when you got those bikes for Denny Green's kids? Yeah. Huh? You gave them to him? <laughs> I, I don't know if those came from Alex or not. That was very Denny generous. Green. Yeah. Denny, Denny was only making kids. three million. Yeah. 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 Boy. And you the did that. I gave the bikes. They gave me Christmas gifts. How do you like that? Oh, oh, okay. Now we're getting to the crux of this. Taking him 15 <laughs> years to come up with that one. Take a break. <laughs> Same time next week. When it drives and looks like new, you'll want to treat it like new. Certified pre-owned by BMW. Choose from 60 certified pre-owned BMWs at BMW of Minnetonka. You are watching CW23. Tony, Dino. welcome back to the sports show. Mike Max, Patrick Rishi, Lavelle, E. Neal, and Sid Hartman. Gophers. You want to take Gopher football first, and this ticket pricing thing you seem to be concerned about. I think they're in the, the right division. I think they'll do pretty good. If they don't get some key guys hurt, and if Leidner has a good year, I think they'll, I don't think they'll win the division, but I think they'll be right up near the top. Okay, what, what about this ticket pricing thing, uh, Patrick? <laughs> well, I, I don't think that's, yeah, the full reason that their ticket sales are bad, but uh, I, I think the fact the Vikings, you know, there's some people who have tickets for both teams, and the Vikings are charging them so much more, I'm sure a lot of people, yeah. you know, drop their uh, go for tickets for that reason. And, hey, if I, you can go to a gopher game, you can either give them that $800 for each seat, or you can go buy a ticket for 20 bucks on the street. Yeah. Why would you buy season tickets? So yeah, and the and schedule gonna, yeah. stinks, I, right? They should be happy with the twenty-two thousand season tickets they've sold. Yeah, it, they it, so. It's based on a product. It, you know, if oh, you know what, let's go to the Gopher game. It's a nice afternoon. You can walk up and buy tickets at the gate and go in. Let, let you me can choose which game you want to go to. He's right. Even last year, I had friends buy tickets for fifteen dollars on the street. Sure. But, but, but let me go back a second then. If we did a real comprehensive study, I, I like having them on campus. It's a great, you know, it's a better atmosphere. But ha ha has building that stadium really given them a sharp competitive advantage? Here's what they can't do. They can't get the young graduates of 10 years ago Again, or 20 15 years, years the conversation go to the, the game. Same. You look at the stands and you see 60-year-old guys go to every game. And they're going to quit buying tickets because they can't afford it. Yeah. But they can't 
get the young people interested in go for football. Let me say that what the big advantage they have now, if they can take advantage of it, though, a hundred years ago when I went to the university, none of us from the Twin Cities stayed on campus. Who wanted to live in those dumpy dormitories? And right now, you go through that campus now. It's there alive. are thirty thousand people living on campus. Yep. The, the guy from Prior Lake, like I was, he's on campus because he wants to be there. You should be able to get fifteen thousand of these people to go to your game, shouldn't yep. you? Start with that, and that's, how, and that's how you grow. That's how you grow your. your well, what, what's the fervor for your man, Lovey Smith, at Illinois? Is, is it big? Is it? There's been a boost in season ticket sales, and there's a, a definitely a lot of boost in. Uh, uh, another a better level of recruits are interested in going to the school now. They've had a couple, you know, kids break through, but it hasn't been like a landslide. You know, he's got to work. And Lovey's looked at that roster and has gone, "Oh my God, look what I have to work with here." It's going to be a couple years before they get better. Until they start being a contender for the Big Ten championship, they're not going to draw. That's Say without that a doubt. And I keep on being amazed when you got one NCAA school in a whole state, and Wisconsin's got about five, Iowa's got about four or five, and they still can't get the best kids in basketball for sure. Football, they still lose some. Yep. Well, Division One football, though, is Wisconsin's only got one Division One football team. So. Yep. Uh, you know? I don't know. If Jerry Kill's popularity was off the charts. Tracy Clays might be a better football coach, but right now he's not captured the imagination of the public. Also, six and seven and a lousy schedule, yeah. and the Vikings open in the new stadium. It's a bad problem, and I think we're three years away from people saying, "Boy, they should be playing in the Viking Stadium." You know? Oh my God! <laughs> it won't happen, but I think we're three years from away from saying that. Look, we, they spend all the money. Everybody's got their stadium now, so everybody cannot have any other Except excuses. Except lacrosse. Except yeah. soccer and lacrosse. Soccer, <laughs> soccer's going to happen. They're gonna, there's going to be a special session. That's How be many care. people do you think they'll have that opening night when they play Oregon, Oregon State? State at 8 o'clock and the Vikings play the Rams at 7? And, and, and there's a huge high school night. Let me yeah. ask you, though. You want the Twins and the... Gophers to change their starting time to accommodate the Vikings. Is that what I saw today? No. You wrote that? They you, won't go. To the, the, why wouldn't the Twins play in the afternoon? Well, because they got FSN here and they have Comcast in Chicago and the regional TV networks run baseball and, now. And, and rightly so, man. When you see what they pay, they got to yeah. run the whole thing. Take a break, come back. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Case Law, for all your legal needs, not your typical law firm. Griffin Bail Bonds, it's better to know us and not need us than to need us and not know us. And Edge Marketing and Promotional Products, from T-shirts to swag, featuring over 100,000 products. We can put your logo on anything. If you guys could go on a free shopping spree anywhere, where would you go? I go to the grocery store. Pizza, ice cream. I go shop for clothes. You know where I go? I go to Ticket King. Ticket King! At Ticket King, you can buy great seats for the Vikings, the Wild, the Timberwolves, and of course, the Twins. We, we love the Twins! Yep, this is where I go. Vikings, Twins, Wild, Timberwolves, Gophers, Theater, and Concerts, too. For details, go to TicketKingOnline.com. Any ticket, anytime, anywhere. It's the real thing. It's Ticket King. Right, Dad? Couldn't have said it any better myself. That's, That's for right. sure. Every step without hesitation. Anticipate your next move with certainty.
because our trusted advisors help you prepare for challenges specific to your business. Our focus is always on you, so your focus is always forward. Experience the power of being understood. RSM, audit, tax, and consulting for the middle market. CW23. Yeah, welcome right, back to this right, black show. Let's move down to Olympics. Dun, 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 dun. Let's start with our Olympic specialist, Sid. I don't watch it. Except <laughs> basketball. Except it's been on five different channels. Basketball and track and uh, <laughs> a little swimming. That's I know you watch swimming. Well, that one great swimmer, you'll watch him. Phelps. Yeah. Is swimming ever going to end? I think it's <laughs> ended, finally. Here's the deal about swimming. He's won 58 medals or whatever it is. Yes, but you get to swim backwards, forwards, sideways, sideways. and then whatever the hell the butterfly is, it's a crawl. That's his best Track, you stroke. get to run. There's one 100 in track. There's four of them in swimming. <laughs> Swimming's a complete fraud. <laughs> it's a fraud. They got a 100-meter relay, a 200-meter well, relay, a 400-meter relay, bit, an 800-meter relay. Women's gymnastics. I thought that was done, and then no, tonight is the oh, something yeah, else. Yeah, I think that's what I, I, I don't know. Tonight's the uh, individual events. Yeah. Let me tell you something about gymnastics to someone who's had some experience watching someone in the sport. You see it on the Olympic team. Gymnastics is unfortunately a money sport. The best gymnasts are in urban America. You know? Yeah, and, and they can't. Most of them can't participate. See, you see, see what they Biles do. Got into it. Yep. Yeah. But I mentioned this the other day. I covered the Olympics when Shannon Miller was the okay. U.S. superstar, skinny. Yep. Little. These gals now, the best Olympic Olympians, and starting with Simone Biles, are these muscular, power-packed, four foot ten. Kaboom! They go athletes. You know? and, and if you're 20 years old, you're old. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what I'm yeah. saying is that we don't have these little waifs with squeak, squeaky voices anymore. No. These are... They're muscles. They're power all, packs. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a little weird watching Tom Thibodeau sit next to Mike Krzyzewski and think Thibodeau makes a lot more money than Krzyzewski does. <laughs> in, in, I mean, in coaching, you know, the NBA versus the NCAA. This is Mr. Krzyzewski's last one, and I think shortly after he'll give up uh, basketball. The only reason he keeps it up, she wants him to keep on coaching forever. And already, he's got the best recruiting class in the country. So and he's he got a good chance winning. to get Gary Trent Jr. I hate these one-and-done schools with no academic requirements. Yeah. Yeah. All they care about is winning. One-and-done. We don't care. Not, we don't care if anybody ever graduates no. at Duke. We're a one-and-done program. Not like North Carolina State when they that, came through. I don't think that's out. true. Those kids uh, graduate and with uh, honors. Who? Who? <laughs> Tyus you, Jones was in there. Even in one year. You think Okafor's well, coming back for three years? Year. Okafor no more than you, know, than you know about it. Sid, they're all leaving after one year. Yeah. All right, Sydney, it's your turn. Sid on Sid, anything you want to talk about looking We won't know how good the Vikings are until they play the Packers. How about the Titans? That'll be all That's they want. That's going to be a good game, yeah. Titans is the opener, right? Titans yeah. is the opener at Tennessee with Mariana as a quarterback. Yeah. That'll be a good and game. And a running game now. Okay. Yeah. That's Hang my up. opinion. Okay. That's all we ever want from Sydney, your opinion. Thank you. So it's <laughs> Very respectful show today, I yeah. thought. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> thank the Sports Show is brought to you in part by Cambria, makers of quality quartz surfaces. Ticket King. For the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. RSM. This is the power of being understood. This is RSM. BMW of Minnetonka. Choose from 60 certified pre-owned BMWs at BMW of Minnetonka. And Bobby and Steve's Auto World. Go to bobbyandstevesautoworld.com for huge savings on everything from convenience store items to everything under the hood of your car. 
show her you remember. The Jewelry Exchange has thousands of anniversary bands. Compare Tiffany's one carat bands for seventy three hundred with ours for eighteen ninety. Half carat bands are two forty nine. Two carat micro pavé seven ninety nine. The Jewelry Exchange, family owned. Hello, Francisco. 